Eve is a little miracle. Two and a half years ago, she was diagnosed with brain cancer. Doctors told her parents to go home and start making memories. But while there is no cure, they weren't taking no for an answer. And they have other families in their corner. It's the sun. Yeah, it's the sun, because that's why it's called the Sun Award. It's the little things that matter. That's awesome. Well done. Like an award at school. Want me to help you? Yeah, can you hold it just down? Yeah. Or getting ready for your eighth birthday in two weeks' time. What things do you think we should put in the lolly bags? When you're living with something so big. It was a, a very scary time for us. A lot of uh, words were said to us at that time by the hospital. Slow, slow, slow. I still recall it like every day. First thing I think about when I wake up, last thing I think about when I sleep. We have got to Eve Daher is a DIPG kid. There's around 20 Australian children diagnosed every year. Just completely just in shock. Like you just, you're in this little room with a box of tissues in front of you. It's never easy. DIPG, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, is an aggressive, inoperable children's cancer that attacks the brainstem. There's no cure, so typically the advice given to parents like Angie and Tama is to take their child home and start making memories. Here you go, Mama. Oh, here you go, Mom. I've had good memories. But we've made a lot of really good memories in that time, haven't we? But Angie and Tama can't accept that's all they can do. They managed to get Eve on a trial of experimental drugs, which seems to be working. <laughs> she is the longest patient in the world on the Paxalisib and Onctua 1 trial, and she's been doing amazing since then. Hannah and Andrew Pringle were never given that option. They took Ruby to hospital after noticing she was having trouble walking on the beach. Go, Rubes. Hop up. Every step she took, she fell. That's where we found out Rubes couldn't walk. Um, and people finally took us serious um, when a six-year-old girl couldn't walk. She was diagnosed with DIPG. They got just five months to make their memories. She used to love going to the beach up at mum and dad's, but it's so hard for us to go to the beach now because it just brings back memories. To their horror, they discovered the treatment for DIPG hasn't changed in decades. So Neil Armstrong's daughter had um, the exact same treatment as Ruby did in 1962 and Rubes had the exact same treatment as her in 2022. And it's brutal. <laughs> the kids are put in a um, radiation mask, pinned down in a room. They can't move. They can see and they get put into a radiation machine for about six to 10 minutes, locked in a room by themselves and get their brain irradiated. 30 sessions every single day being pinned down, hearing her in a room, screaming out help for us, um, did nothing for her. Why are you brave? Because I've been fighting for two years and nothing has changed. They hurt me, but I know they're not trying to. I know they're trying to be really gentle, but then I'm like, if anyone else can do it, I can do it. These families feel the system simply gives up on children with DIPG and research and treatment gets little federal funding. Not even a million in eight years and it's 20 kids a year. It's probably eight years, it's 160 kids that have gone and no one's done anything about it. 970,000 since 2015 equivalates to 4,500-ish per child. Now, if you can put a price on a child's life, $4,500 is definitely not it. So the Pringles, the Dahers and other families have joined forces with cancer research professor Matt Dunn 
to take their case to the top. Thank you all for coming to Canberra though. I know it's hard, I know it's time, uh, but it does make a real difference. Professor Dunn has been desperately trying to make a difference ever since his own daughter Josie was diagnosed with DIPG five years ago. He made worldwide headlines as the cancer researcher looking for an answer in his spare time to save his own child. We're trying to buy time. We're trying to buy time until someone can come up with something that's going to do better than what we can do. Sadly, time ran out for Josie, but Matt did discover a combination of drugs, now used around the world in the clinical trial Eve is on. But not here, unless you pay. We probably spent three and a half thousand dollars a month on treatment out, out of pocket and we're lucky we had a little bit of money saved but imagine people that don't have that what can they do getting some face time with health minister mark butler is the first step in getting more funding and perhaps a little bit more hope for the children who follow it's too late for ruby she's already passed away but little eve she deserves a chance at life all our other DIPG children deserve a chance. Oh, it is so hard to fathom, isn't it? Well done to Mark Butler for listening to these families and let's hope to God that they get the funding that they need. And while they wait, Matt Dunn's charity run, Run DIPG, has raised over $2 million for much-needed research. There's more information on our website.